Boys and girls, and welcome to another day as we get closer and closer to Christmas. We're actually about 14 days away. And so we're reading the story of the Old Testament and New Testament to the birth of Jesus. And today we're going to read about Samuel. Uh, not Samuel, I'm sorry, Samson. We're going to read about Samson today. Samson is an important part of the Jesus story and the family of God. The Israelites were in trouble again, and there was a very, very strong man. And here's a picture of him. He was so super strong, and his name is Samson. And God had chosen him to save the Israelites from the enemies, the Philistines, who were their enemies. And so here we see a picture of Samson, who was so strong that he could wipe them out with practically two hands and so and so they were kind of afraid of him because of his strength so one day Samson um, was approached by a woman named Delilah and he was in love with Delilah and the Philistines uh, paid her some money to find out what made him so strong he had a secret that they could not figure out so one day she said if you, um, if you would tell me just what is your secret? Why are you so strong? Samson decided to tell a little fib. He said, well, if you tie me up in ropes, that'll do it. I won't be strong anymore. Well, overnight when he was sleeping, she tied him up in ropes and guess what? The Philistines came after him and he woke up and boom, he busted out of those ropes and so the ropes didn't hold him down. And he kind of knew that Delilah was not being honest with him about something. So she said to him, well, I'm gonna give you a kiss. And of course that softened him up. And she said, please, Samson, please tell me what your strength is. Tell me how, why you're so strong. And so he decided because he gave in to her that he would tell her. And he said, it's because of my hair. My hair makes me strong. If I didn't have my hair, I wouldn't be strong at all. So when he went to bed that night, guess what happened? Delilah came and cut his hair off. Practically bald. He had nothing left at all. And so he got up the next morning and he said, Oh no, oh no, my hair is gone. I'm not strong anymore. And then he felt bad because he gave away a secret a secret that was meant just for him, not for other people. So he prayed. And the Philistines were coming after the Israelites, and they were in the temple. And he prayed, Dear God, please make me strong just one more time. Guess what? God made him strong one more time. And he was able to push down the pillars of the temple uh, where the Philistines were and crushed them all and he won that battle that day. This is a really important story that uh, Samson defeated the, is the, the Philistines. And this is important for us because sometimes even when we do something wrong, God still is with us and he can make us strong and he can give us what we need when we call on him and ask him. Samson is an important part of Jesus' story and in the next video we'll talk about why but for now i'm gonna hang the ornament the samson ornament here it is boys and girls we're gonna hang it on the jesse tree and we're getting a little bit closer now to christmas as we go up the tree together so let's pray let's pray together if you don't mind remember our prayer most of you should know the prayer by now because we've been saying the same one over and over but Let's say it again together. Please bow your head. Thank you, Jesus, for being my greatest gift. Please come live in my heart today. I'm so happy to be a part of your family, the family of God. Amen. All right, boys and girls, until next time, you have a great day. Bye-bye now.